Dream Candy Club. Wait, I just realized. I forgot to tell them there's a time limit. What? I forgot to tell them they can only keep their breath for an hour. What does this mean, Twilight? I'm not sure. I just hope they aren't too deep in the ocean when they lose their breath. Can you communicate with them? I don't know, Rarity. I have to figure this out. Applejack and Pinkie Pie's lives depend on it. So where does this sea witch live? At the bottom of the ocean. Sounds like we have to go to the bottom of the ocean. Wait, what are you guys talking about? You can't keep living in fear, Serene. We need to confront this sea witch once and for all. Yeah! But she wants to keep me as her good luck charm. She'll never let me go. We have to try, Serene. Do you want to spend the rest of your life swimming in fear? Well, no. Don't you want to feel free and swim with the other mermaids without always looking over your shoulder? That would be heaven. My whole life, all I've known is fear. Serene, I know enough to know that that's no kind of life at all. Please, let us help you. And what if she doesn't let me go? Then Pinkie Pie and I will offer ourselves in place of you. Wait, what? I can't ask you guys to do that. You won't have to. I'm fairly confident we can work all this out with a friendly discussion. Maybe I haven't been clear about how evil the Sea Witch is. I understand everything you've said up until this point, and I think it's time for you to finally be free. And the only way to achieve that is to confront the Sea Witch face to face. But I'm scared. Don't worry, that's what we're here for. Come on, Serene, show us the way. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to think if I can add something to the spell so they can stay underwater longer without being in danger. But even if you accomplish that, how are you going to get the spell to them? <gasps> oh my gosh, Rarity, you're right. Even if I perfect the spell, it only works if I can use it on them. So what are we going to do? Uh, hang on, let me whip up another spell. I don't know how you do all this swimming. I'm getting tired already. That's why having a tail comes in handy down here. Uh, how much longer, Serene? It's not too far now. It seems that the cauldron is showing me they are by lots of colorful coral. We already know they're in the ocean. Yes, but where they are precisely is what I'm telling you. The ocean is full of seaweed and coral. They could be anywhere. No, the colors of the coral and the seaweed show me they are in deeper parts of the ocean. Which means they're going to have a harder time getting back on land. Rarity, we have to get them the spell so they don't drown. How are we going to do that? We have to go into the ocean and find them. Is this it? Yes, she usually is somewhere around here. So, should we just wait until she shows up? Oh, it won't be long at all. Once she senses I'm here, she'll come and- <gasps> Oh no! There she is! Hello, ponies! <laughs> Join our club! Subscribe now! Dream Candy Club! I think I'm going to enter my famous apple pie in the state fair this year. What a fabulous idea, Applejack! I bet you'll win! You're just the bestest! Yeah, your pie is pretty good. What's wrong, Rainbow Dash? You seem a little down. Yeah, I have to say, I'm not having a very good day. Oh no, how come? I found out one of my cousins is real sick and I really want to go see her, but I can't. Why can't you go see her? She's too far away. These wings will only take me so far. To get to her, I would need to take a magical carriage or helicopter. And, well, I just don't have the money. Rainbow Dash, that's awful. How can we help? Yeah, we 
we'd do anything to help you. Oh, thanks guys, but I need the strength of like 12 Pegasuses to get me there. And it's way too much money to ask for. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I sure wish there was something we could do to help. Thanks guys, don't worry. I'll think of something. Lemonade, lemonade, get your fresh squeezed lemonade. Oh, this looks delicious. And it's for a good cause. All the money goes to helping my best friend travel to see her sick cousin. Great, I'll take a glass. Wow, this is the most delicious lemonade I've ever had. Step right up, everybody. There is plenty of lemonade to go around and you all are helping my friend Rainbow Dash so much. <clears throat> Excuse me, what is going on around here? I'm selling lemonade to help my friend, Officer Sunil. I can see that. Do you have a permit? A what? You need a permit to sell lemonade or anything else around here. Oh, I don't have one of those, but look how much everyone loves my lemonade. I see this line is blocking traffic. That's just because they love my lemonade. You will have to shut down the stand. You do not have a permit and you are blocking traffic. I'll never stop helping my friend. It's too important. I demand that you shut this lemonade stand right now or else. But I can't. I have to help Rainbow Dash. Okay, that's it. Come with me. You are under arrest. Arrest? What? I'm taking you down to the precinct to book you on operating without a permit and resisting an officer of the law. <gasps> oh no! I've been working on some great new tricks. Any flying tricks? Working right now on some spinning tricks. I wanna be faster than lightning. You guys, you guys, Pinkie Pie's in trouble. We have to help her. Uh, what's Pinkie Pie got herself into now? She's in jail. What? Pinkie Pie's in jail? Are you serious? Come on, guys, we have to get her out of there. Um, do you guys have any cupcakes in here? No. Or anything good to eat? Just sit tight, Pinkie Pie, and wait for your friends to pick you up. <sighs> We're here, Pinkie Pie. Hi, guys. Are you here to pick up your friend? Uh, yes, we are. What'd she do this time? I had to arrest her for trespassing and conducting business without the permit. Business? Oh, what kind of business? She can explain. All right, Pinkie Pie, you are free to go. I will be mailing your paperwork, and as long as you handle the ticket, all charges will be dropped. <gasps> Thank you, Officer Sunil. Thanks so much for coming. You guys are the bestest. Now, Pinkie Pie, you have to tell us what you're doing in here. I started a lemonade stand to help Rainbow Dash pay to see her sick cousin. Oh, that's so sweet. But he stopped me because I didn't have a permit, and my long lines created traffic problems. Oh, Pinkie Pie, it's the thought that counts. But you guys, I think it worked. I made all the money Rainbow Dash needs. Did you really? Wait, Rainbow Dash needs to travel further than her wings will take her? Guys, I can totally help with that. Wow, you did all that for me, Pinkie Pie? I sure did. But unfortunately, now Pinkie Pie needs the money to pay for her jail ticket. Oh, that's okay. I'll just have to find another way to get my cousin. Yes, you will. And that way is me. Oh, what, what do you mean, Twilight? Our Pegasus wings will only take us so far. That's why I'm gonna use my magic skills and take you there myself. Really, Twilight? Of course, anything for my friends. And Pinkie Pie can use the money to pay her ticket. It looks like everything worked out perfectly, except the me going to jail part. Anyway, I have nothing to wear to Rainbow Dash's party. You know you can always borrow something of mine. I knew there was a reason I keep you around, Twilight. <laughs> hey, you know how people talk about their spirit animal? What's a spirit animal? Your spirit animal is the animal you feel that you are most like on the inside. What kind of animal do you think you'd be? Oh, darlings, that's ridiculous. We are ponies. That's the only animal we could ever be. What about Littlest Pet?
pet shop. Can we be similar to a pet? Pinkie Pie, a pet is still another animal. Oh, so what, Rarity? This could be fun. Let's say which LPS pet we would be and why. Can I go first? Can I go first? Okay, Pinkie Pie, go ahead. I would be Minka Mark. And why her? Well, isn't it obvious? She's pink. And she's pretty much as hyper as you. Okay, good choice. I like this game. What about you, Twilight? Hmm. I would be... I would be the Purple Panther. For starters, it's purple. Secondly, panthers are confident explorers, and I love to explore in the sky. But of course, I would be a purple panther that can do magic. Nice pick, Twilight. Applejack, who would you be? Hmm. I think I would be Kittery Banter. Interesting choice. Well, cats are independent, and I'm a girl that can do just fine on her own. And she's orange. And cats do like apples, right? I guess that leaves me. Let's see. Hmm. I would be the littlest pet shop purple cockatoo. Really? A bird? For starters, she has fabulous hair. We share that in common. And cockatoos love attention. Can't argue with that. Thanks for making us play this game, Applejack. It's been super fun. Oh, I really want to be a monkey now. Hey guys, I just may have a trick up my wings. <gasps> oh dear heavens. I'm a monkey now. I'm a monkey now. Woohoo! Wow, I'm a purple panther. I can't believe my trick really worked. Why do I suddenly have the urge to chase a mouse? Looks like I'm going to need something different entirely to wear to Rainbow Dash's party. Mm hmm Making my Granny Smith's famous apple pie. I've got your boiled apples right here. Aw, oh, thank you, Saucy Pan. I couldn't make this apple pie without you. Pinkie Pie is going to be so excited. Okay, those sautéed apples look amazing. Now we just have to put the dough for the crust on. Anything else you think we need, Saucy Pan? Hey, what about me? I am not putting a chili pepper in my apple pie. Personally, I would have gone with a cupcake. <laughs> oh, Cupcake Chic, you know we all love cupcakes. But today is Pinkie Pie's birthday, and I wanted to make her a special gift from my heart. Oh, how sweet of you, Applejack. Hello, everyone. The birthday girl is here. Oh, my goodness, is that apple pie? Uh, uh, no nothing to say here. Applejack is making you an apple pie for your birthday. <gasps> wow, Applejack, you are the bestest. Thanks for spoiling the surprise, silly chili. I told her it would be better with chili peppers. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love my birthday. I love you guys. This is just the best day ever. Well, we have to put the pie in the oven first. I can hardly wait to eat it. Thank you, Applejack. Mwah! This pie seems to be taking forever. It sure does, Saucy Pan. I don't care. I'm just happy to spend time with some of my bestest friends. There's always cupcakes to eat. Just saying. Silla Chilla, will you go and check on our pie? Sure thing. I can't believe I'm going to taste your granny's apple pie recipe made just for me. Anything for you, Pinkie Pie. I just want your birthday to be special. Oh no, you guys, the pie's burnt, and I don't mean in a hot and spicy way. Oh, Pinkie Pie, I must have put the timer on wrong. I am so very sorry. I really wanted to do something special for you. It's okay, Applejack. The fact that you just wanted to make me a pie for my birthday is gift enough. Oh, do you really mean that? Of course I do. What are we going to eat now? I think Cupcake Chic said something about eating cupcakes. That's right. Yummy, yummy, I can hardly wait. Oh no, not me. That's not what I meant. Pinkie Pie, no. Cupcake Sheik's our friend. Pinkie Pie. Join our club. Subscribe now.
Dream Candy Club. Do you think an apple mac and cheese sounds good? Apples inside the mac and cheese? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it could provide some interesting sweetness. What about an apple pizza? Now that sounds delicious. You guys! You guys! Hey, Pinkie Pie. You guys aren't going to believe what I found. What? A golden cupcake. Oh, what do you mean? Gold? I'm definitely interested. I was galloping in the field earlier today and I saw a rainbow. Oh, I just love rainbows. Me too. Anyway, I was trying to catch the rainbow and as I got closer, the cupcake was sitting at the bottom of the rainbow. Did you eat it? You know I wanted to, but it seemed so special. I wanted to see if you guys wanted to share it with me. What kind of gold are we talking about? 14 carat? I'm not sure we should be eating that. Where's the cupcake now? Back at my place. Come on, I'll show you. Wow, Pinkie Pie, you weren't kidding. That really is a gold cupcake. I've never been so excited about a cupcake in my life. What flavor do you think it is? Who cares? I wonder if we can turn it into a piece of jewelry. Cupcakes aren't jewelry. They're made to be eaten. And this one looks like the best cupcake ever. I wonder if she has apples inside. What are we waiting for? I'm gonna get a knife and cut it open. I can't wait to try some. No, Pinkie Pie, you can't eat this cupcake. What if it's worth something? Rarity is right. We don't even know how it got here. It's not like golden cupcakes just show up every day. Are you saying we can't eat it? No. We can't. But I love cupcakes, and this one is golden. That's exactly why we need to have it checked out. If this cupcake is worth something, we'll have enough money to buy you a thousand cupcakes. A thousand cupcakes? Applejack is right. We need to find out more. Maybe Princess Twilight Sparkle can help us. Good idea. A golden cupcake. Wow, this certainly looks delicious. That's what I said. Does this mean we can eat it now? No. How much do you think we can get for this, Twilight? Do you know where it came from? Whoa, okay, let's slow down. I don't know how much the cupcake is worth or where it came from. So let's just eat it then. But that doesn't mean we can't figure it out. Then can we eat it? Maybe. No, please don't eat me. Did that cupcake just talk? Yes, you guys, this cupcake is alive. Join our club, subscribe now. Dream Candy Club. Twilight? Twilight? We need your help. Uh, I don't think she's here. Oh, but we need to get your hair back, Pinkie Pie. Tell me about it. Wait a second. Look here. You see this cauldron? Yeah. That's what Twilight used to do my hair spell. Maybe we can use it to get your hair back too. Uh, shouldn't we wait for Twilight to help us? Nonsense, Pinkie Pie. I'm sure we can figure this one out ourselves. Hey, Rainbow Dash. Hey, Twilight. Rarity was telling me about how you're collecting hair to donate to all the sick ponies. Yeah, she was just here and gave me some hair. And Pinkie Pie even cut off all her hair and went totally bald. Wow, she went bald just to help the sick ponies? Yeah, I can't believe she did it, but it sure is for a great cause. Well, I think I can help out with all the sick ponies without anybody cutting their manes off. Rarity was just telling me, 
Do you really think it can work? How do I look? Oh, no, this isn't right at all. Wait a minute. I have your hair. I must have done the spell wrong. How do I look with purple hair, Rarity? It doesn't matter because that's my hair and you're not going to keep it that way. But we could be twins. Oh, come on, Pinkie Pie. We have to find Twilight. This is just the most amazing thing ever, Twilight. Not only are you helping all the sick ponies now, but you're helping all the ponies in the future too. Twilight, we have an emergency. What's going on? Whoa, Pinkie Pie, what are you doing with Rarity's hair? That's precisely the problem here. Is that more hair to donate? We went to your house, Twilight, to see if you could use your magic to get Pinkie Pie her hair back. But you weren't there, so we tried using the magic ourselves, and now I have Rarity's hair. Wait a minute, you tried using my spells on your own? Yes, but what matters now is Pinkie Pie has my look. She can't look like me. Can you help us, Twilight? Rarity, you're never supposed to use another pony's magic. I'm sorry, I thought we could fix Pinkie Pie without bothering you. You guys are never a bother to me. Come on, Pinkie Pie, let's go change your hair back. Join our club, subscribe now. Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Candy Toy Time. Today we're gonna to be taking a look inside Peppa Pig's ballet bag. Plus we have a special surprise egg. So let's take a look. Dream Candy Club. Today Peppa's gonna be doing some ballet with her friend Candy Cat. And it looks like we have some different tutus for them to wear and more. So why don't we dive right in? We have, of course, our Peppa Pig. Here you can see her. She is wearing a beautiful tiara. Her arms and legs move, and she is wearing also a tutu for ballet. And we can move her arms and her legs so she can dance for us. Same goes for Candy Cat. Candy Cat here can also move her arms and her legs. And we're gonna put some other tutus on Candy Cat so she can do ballet with Peppa. Now this set also has a mirror and a ballet bar. So that's where they're gonna be doing their ballet. And lastly, you can see we have two adorable tutus. We have one here in pink and one in purple for Peppa and Candy Cat to wear. As you can see, Peppa is warming up on her ballet bar, but we still need to get Candy Cat a tutu, so let's go ahead and give her one. We're gonna put this cute pink tutu right onto Candy Cat, so we're just gonna slip this on. And it's important that when you put this on, that you get it right underneath the line right here. See this line? That's how her tutu is gonna stay on. And now Candy Cat, Looks beautiful and ready for ballet herself. Now Peppa is over here warming up. She can also practice her plies and her first position, second position, and so on. But now she wants to go ahead and give Candy Cat a try. So we pop her back. And you know what? In the meantime, we're gonna give Peppa a new tutu. So we can go ahead and give Peppa this purple one. I think that looks a little better than white. And again, we're gonna tuck it right under this line. Oh. There we go. And we're gonna have Peppa move aside and let Candy Cat do some ballet. As Candy Cat works on her plies, she tells Peppa to move out of the way politely so Candy Cat can see herself in the mirror to see if she's doing them correctly. 
So Candy Cat can take a look. Like you said, we can move her head. And now she can see if she's doing her plies correctly. Peppa and the mirror, mirror tell her, yes, she is. And now Candy Cat is done with her warm-ups and her ballet practice. What's really great about this set is you can see it comes in this really cute heart-shaped carrying case. We have a handle right here. So you could take your Peppa Pig ballet playset on the go. But there is one more thing that we're forgetting here. So let's get back to Peppa and Candy Cat. Looks like Peppa and Candy have switched the color of their tutus yet again. But what they really want to find out is what's in that surprise egg. Why don't we go take a look? All right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, what do you, who do you think it is, Peppa? What do you think it is, Candy Cat? Let's open it up and find out. And we have Princess Anna from Frozen. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And of course, please remember before you go to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day and the chance to win one of our play sets every month. Thanks for watching Dream Candy Toy Time. Join our club, subscribe now. Hi guys, welcome to Dream Candy Toy Time. Today we're gonna to be having fun with Peppa Pig's camper van playset. So let's take a look. Dream Candy Club. Of course we have, it looks like the family camper van. And we also have, of course, Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig. And it looks like there's some other fun things in here. So let's, uh, let's get started and open this up. Okay, now that we've got that open, let's take a closer look here at what we have. So we have, of course, Daddy Pig. So he's wearing a cool kind of vacation tourist outfit. He's got his glasses and he's got his camera and he is ready for pictures and making memories with his family. And you can kind of move his legs. If you want him to sit, he can sit and you can move his arms, so that's pretty cool. So now we have, of course, Peppa Pig in a nice little dress, and she has little bows, and her arms move as well. You can also move her legs. And it looks like all we have today, oops, Daddy Pig, he fell. Looks like all we have today is Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig. So this is gonna be a father-daughter day in the family camper van. So it's a Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig father-daughter adventure. So we're gonna put them to the side right here and let's take a look at this camper van. Oh, Daddy Pig keeps falling. Why don't we take a look here at the, we'll get to that later. Let's look at the camper van. All right, now, if you see it this way, it moves, of course, the wheels move. And we have our driver over here. And, oh, Peppa. And let's take a look. 
So we can, of course, take the top off, which is pretty neat. And you can actually sit Daddy Pig here as the driver, of course. So we have Daddy Pig, he fits right in there, and Peppa Pig as his passenger and navigator for the day. And here they can go around and be in here with the sunroof, we'll say, off, or with the top on. And there they are, riding around. And look, they're coming towards us. Now, if we want Peppa and Daddy Pig to be outside of the van, we'll take them out and we'll take a look at some other features. So we have them seated right here. And now if we put the top back on the family camper van, as you can see, if you peek right up here, there's a little awning. And now Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig can dine underneath. What are they gonna use to dine? Well, as you see, we have a nice little barbecue. That's right, we have a nice barbecue right here. And let's see, we have some eggs sunny side up. Do you like your eggs sunny side up? I know I like them that way. I like them scrambled too. And then, ooh, it looks like there's some barbecued corn. That's always delicious and some fish. They're gonna grill some fish. So we're gonna keep that barbecue set open and they're gonna dine right here with this little table that they brought with them. Exactly. So why don't we have Daddy Pig over here by the barbecue? Because Peppa's too young to barbecue, am I right? So we have Daddy Pig over here He's going to be doing the barbecuing. And we have Peppa Pig, but you know what? She needs a place to sit. So we can quickly take the top off the camper van and take out one of these special seats that's removable. See, you see? Seats are removable. And we put it right here. And let's get a better view of all this. And we're going to put Peppa waiting right here while her daddy barbecues. You got that? So, dad's over here, grilling up his corn and his fish, and Peppa's here talking to her dad, but it's a little sunny, so we gotta make sure we put the camper van top back on, and they can now be under the awning and get some shade. So it looks like Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig are gonna have a wonderful, barbecue today and he's going to grill that up and then once they're done they've got to pack everything back up so daddy pig's going to put this barbecue away and of course we got to get the dinette we got to put that away we got to put the awning back on the camper van so we'll just store that in the back seat where they keep their stuff and We'll put the seat back here. Should Peppa Pig drive? I think she's too young to drive. So we'll, we will go ahead and put Daddy Pig back in the driver's seat. We'll put this top on. We'll see if we can fit that barbecue. There we go. All right, well, it looks like Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig are all packed up and ready to go home. And I bet when they get there, they're gonna tell Mummy Pig and Peppa's brother George what a great day they had in the family camper van. Now, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos every day and a chance to win one of our play sets each month. Thanks for watching Dream Candy Toy Time. Join our club, subscribe now.
Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Candy Toy Time. Today we're going to be having fun with Peppa Pig's house playset. So let's take a look. Dream Candy Club! All right, let's get in there and see what we've got. Okay, now that we have everything out, we can take a look at exactly what comes in this house playset. So if you take a quick look, you can see, of course, here we have a living room, den area, a couch, television, and over here we've got the kitchen. And we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. And it looks like the family can dine right here. And if you go up these stairs, you can see we have a bathroom here. And on this side of the house, we of course have Peppa Pig and her baby brother George, and looks like we are in their bedroom. So why don't we move on in and take a closer look? Well, as you can see, Peppa Pig and her brother George are hanging out together in their bedroom. Uh, let's take a closer look at uh, what Peppa is wearing. So if we take a peek here, you can see she has on a cute little t-shirt with a heart. Her arms seem to move up and down, back and forth. Her legs also move, so that's pretty neat. And also, it seems she moves her head back and forth so she can talk to George. Speaking of which, let's uh, take a quick peek at what George is wearing today. So he looks like he's got on a pretty cute dinosaur t-shirt. And of course his arms move back and forth as well. And he can move his head too, so he can talk to Peppa. Now they're hanging out in their bedroom, which as you can see, consists of, we have a bunk bed here for the two of them and a little ladder they can get up and down. And there's some drawings on the wall. Of course, some purple and uh, purple curtains with some yellow polka dots. That's pretty cute. And most importantly, guys, it looks like Peppa Pig and her baby brother George are all home alone today. So what do you think they're going to do on their home adventure? Let's find out. At first, Peppa and George just relax and start watching some television. As you see, the set comes with a nice uh, comfy couch for them and a little television set. So here they are watching their favorite program, but Peppa decides she's hungry and George is hungry too. So Peppa wants to make something for George. So she goes off and we can move her little legs here and she is off to the kitchen. Peppa reaches the kitchen with George following not far behind and they have to take a look and see what they can make to eat. Now in the kitchen, as you can see, we have a little uh, sink. There's the faucet and a little dish rack. And behind Peppa, there's a stove and there's something in the oven. So we also have the fridge. And if you take a look, oops, sorry Peppa. <laughs> if you take a look at the fridge, let's look inside. Hmm, what should Peppa and George eat? There's, looks like some lemonade. There's maybe some marshmallows. We got cupcakes, some fresh strawberries, grapes, raspberries. Ooh, but that looks like a pretty good blueberry pie. I think that's what Peppa and George are gonna eat today. So Peppa, when she's not falling over, <laughs> goes and she makes in the stove, in the oven, she puts that blueberry pie in and you can see it's cooking there now. There's the blueberry pie in the stove. And once that pie is done, Peppa's gonna take it out and, oops, oh, Peppa keeps falling. Once that pie is done, Peppa and George are gonna 
have some fun and eat it at the table. Peppa and George seem to be enjoying their blueberry pie at the family dinner table. Of course, we have George and Peppa, but the chairs for Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are noticeably absent. Again, they're home alone, enjoying some blueberry pie. But George goes ahead and gets it all, oops, he falls down again, and he gets that pie all over his face. Oh no, Peppa says. She's gotta clean him up before Mummy and Daddy Pig get home. So now she's gotta rush him up and over into the bathroom. Peppa rushes George up the stairs and into the bathroom. And of course, the first thing she does is make sure George goes right into the bathtub. And you see, of course, we have George in the tub. We have a bathtub right here with a faucet, hot and cold water there. So George is taking his bath. And while he takes his bath, Peppa can also make sure he stays clean by doing his laundry. And this comes with a laundry and you can see George's, George's little sock in there. That's right. So Peppa makes sure George scrubs and gets nice and clean and is all clean in time for mommy and daddy to be home. Now that he's all clean, George bolts up his ladder onto the top bunk right where he was when we first saw him today. And when Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig get home, they'll never know how messy George got eating blueberry pie. And finally, the best thing about this playset is we have this nifty handle right up top where you can close everything together. We'll take off the stairs, move them here. We close everything together. And it has, it becomes its own carrying case. And you can take that to your friend's house and have lots of fun. Well, that wraps it up for today. And please remember before you go to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day and the chance to win one of our play sets every month. Thanks for watching Dream Candy Toy Time. Join our club, subscribe now.
Dream Candy Club!
subscribe now. Dream Candy Club!